Hi everybody, I'm back with another video. This is a, a layout um, a, that's called the fair. That's exactly what it was about, it was going to the fair. Um, I'm starting out with white card stock and I am just um, going to use a border stamp to go down. I'm, I end up going down two sides. Originally I was planning on going around the entire um, four sides of the page, but um, it's a swirly type stamp and once I get to um, the other, uh, to the vertical sides, I guess you would call it. I realized that the stamp won't really work that direction, so I didn't continue with that. Um, and I'm using a Heidi Swap stamp pad, and it's just black ink. I started this layout um, off camera, and then I decided to record it, so um, I already have my layers picked out for this and the pattern papers that I was going to use already, so this video is probably going to go a little bit quicker, but um, I don't remember what the paper lines are. I will look that up. Okay, so the blue paper is that snorkel line from Cosmo Cricut. The red stars um, were, let's see, who is this? Step Right Up from Tada Creative Studios. I don't know, I've never heard of them. Um, but the, it was circusy paper, which fit in really well. Um, and the red striped paper is as well. And then the black striped paper is uh, Memories Captured from Fancy Pants. I did ink all of the edges as well with black soot before I started gluing them down. I'm going to take these photo frames from Recollections and uh, I'm going to emboss on them. So I'm taking this stamp set that it's mostly borders but it has like a triangle diamond shape on it which kind of makes me think of a fair pattern. So I'm going to use that and um, the Colorbox chalk inks which I don't usually use all that often so I have these old ones from Michaels. I don't know if they even sell them there anymore but um, I, I, don't, I use Distress inks and stays on a lot more. So. Um, anyway, I'm going to stamp on here and then emboss it uh, with just clear embossing powder. Once I was done embossing it, it was actually the next day, I decided that um, I was going to use the Distress Inks to change it from white um, to yellow is what I picked originally, and then I think I decided that the yellow didn't work because the pattern paper behind it was yellow, so I end up going over it with, um, what is it, the Broken China um, as well, and so the frame becomes a green color in the end, which I ended up liking, so it was good. Here I'm gluing the Memories Captured um, black and white stripe paper to that frame. And then I'm going to take the frame and I'm trying to put these um, chipboard letters in it. The chipboard letters I also um, embossed, but I did it with white embossing powder and they just completely get lost in the background with that black and white paper. It's like way too busy. So I realized that um, originally that's where I thought my title was going to go and I realized now it's not going to go there. I took out these stickers from Simple Stories, that they're that snap um, collection, and um, I'm just trying to put the uh, in there, which is going to be part of the title as well, and I just, just still haven't moved the title, but I'm realizing very quickly that it's not working there, um, so I'm definitely going to have to move it and figure out something else to do with this um, frame. I decided I was going to move the title. Um, after I get the letters glued down, then I do go around the edges of all of them in, um, which is a black sharpie. Um, I do put the small uh, snap letters um, on top of that as well in uh, the yellow color. Now I'm taking out this black and gray chevroni pattern washi tape and I am going to make a border on the top and the bottom of the page with it. So I decided to make it thinner and just tear it down the middle 
um, I ended up really not liking that too much so I it was hard to get it to be kind of consistent so I take the scissors and try to cut it um, to make it a little bit more finished looking and um, that gives me a little bit of trouble too but in the end I do end up with the washi tape on the top and bottom This is me peeling off the one that I tore um, and uh, just pulling out new tape to cut instead. And then I decided not to cut it because that was simpler to just make it smaller and fold it over. <laughs> um, I took out these Jenny Bolin stickers and um, I'm thinking I'm going to make a little, yeah, like little flags off the side of the frame with these. I completely change all of this later. <laughs> I should have posted, I even was thinking about this in the photos of how many different times I changed this little um, frame and all of the stuff that went on it. I love the way it turned out in the end. It was definitely, I think, the best look, but I didn't have any kind of like fair embellishments or anything, so I was trying to just sort of make them. And uh, so anyway, I ended up pretty happy with what it turned out with in the end. Once I cut out these little um, yellow and blue um, flag type things out of paper, then it kind of sent me in a different direction. And you don't really see it in this video because I didn't end up recording a lot of it. Um, I changed this whole embellishment area, like I said, a lot of times. But um, you will see it in the pictures at the end, um, how it turned out. And I um, actually really like the way it turned out. So um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.